This short video will show some useful tips and tricks for getting more out of your daily Favre use. As you can see, I have quite a few collections here. Let's make sure I have easy access to my most used ones by starring them. I can now quickly jump between them without opening the browser. Next, I want to make sure that my coworker gets assigned items as they reach a certain stage in a process and that he is the only one who can move them further. First, I open the default values app and set automatic assignment. Second, I make sure he stays in control with the Defined Workflows app. As you can see, I move this card to in review and he gets automatically assigned, but I can't move it any further. Okay, my collections are readily available and my process is set. Now I want to start working on items in my backlog. By holding the Shift or Alt key and clicking on a card, I enable the batch editing mode. From here I can perform common actions such as assigning, tagging, moving or even archiving multiple cards at once. Don't worry though, if you make a mistake all these actions can be undone by using the shortcut Command Z. Speaking of shortcuts, you can access the full legend by pressing H. And that's it! You're now a much more efficient Favro user. Don't forget to check out the links in the description below to read more thorough articles on what I covered here. See you next time.